Coyle. Honourable colleagues, COP29, the United Nations Climate Summit, which took place in Baku, Azerbaijan, concluded on the weekend. The theme of this year's conference of the parties was finance. The climate talks ended with a $300 billion deal, but left many nations and groups unsatisfied. The most serious effects of climate change, in many cases with devastating life, economy, and in some cases nationhood threatening events, effects are being felt in developing countries, and in particular in small island states such as Samoa, the Marshall Islands, and by our Caribbean neighbours. These countries had asked for $1.3 trillion from developed countries, from the biggest historical emitters of greenhouse gases, countries like Canada, whose economies have benefited from high emitting industries. The money is meant to pay for the loss and damage caused by climate change's extreme weather, help those countries adapt to current and future climate impacts, and very importantly, support them in their transition away from coal, oil and gas to future green economies. Former U.S. President Al Gore gave a powerful evidence-based presentation at COP, highlighting how in 2023 global air temperatures, sea surface temperatures, Antarctic sea ice extent, Canadian wildfires and coral bleaching were all way off the charts, with extreme weather disasters costing the global economy $3.28 trillion in the last decade, and air pollution from fossil fuels killing 8.7 million people every year. But colleagues, COP29 wasn't just about highlighting the dangers of the climate crisis. Al Gore also spoke of practical, smart solutions, and the majority of the 70,000 people from nearly 200 countries who came together in Baku were there to promote the urgently needed rapid adoption of climate solutions, be they technological, financial, economic, or political. I was thankful to the CSG for allowing me to have their place at COP, and it was good to have fellow Senators Kingston, Delfon, and Galvez in attendance. Other parliamentarians, Indigenous leaders, Chief Willie <coughs> Littlechild was there, civil society, business, science, labour, youth, women, health, including the head of the Canadian Medical Association, and government leaders were all there, including Canada's impressive and hard-working negotiating team. Colleagues the, colleagues, the COP process may be imperfect, but global cooperation and climate diplomacy are critical. We heard hopes expressed for the upcoming G7. Honourable colleagues, in a panel of legislators at COP, a mayor from Ukraine reminded us that we don't inherit our planet from our ancestors. We borrow it from our children and our grandchildren. Colleagues, this is a wisdom I know we all appreciate. Thank you. Merci. Willalio.